What's up, internet basketball junkies? Today we're going to look at our primary rebounding drill. I'm honestly not in love with it. If I found a drill I like better, I'd switch to it. I don't think it's as game-like as I'd want it to be, uh, but this is what we use uh, as our primary rebounding drill. We called this drill Kufus Rebounding to honor NBA player Costa Kufus, who is an alumni of this school. We always like to use names of former players for our drills to honor the history of the basketball program. Uh, it gave us a great uh, opportunity to talk about the program's uh, history, and certainly you can call this drill whatever you'd like if you choose to implement it. For this drill, we use two or three teams of five. If we have two teams, we just go head to head. If we have three, it's a cutthroat style uh, where once you have to run, you become the team waiting on the sideline. We choose an alignment for the day, and the team on the perimeter fills those spots, and the team on the inside then matches with their personnel. The desired position to be in uh, is inside position, the defensive rebounding team. Uh, in the drill, whichever team gets the rebound takes that inside position, and whoever doesn't get the rebound has to run a down and back in 11 seconds. One player on the outside designates themselves as a non-crasher on each shot. This gives the inside team the advantage on positioning and on numbers. The player matched up to the non-crasher who raises his hand to signify he is not crashing should use a crackdown technique. This effectively double teams one of the offensive rebounders. We want to breed competition with this drill. We do this through the scoring system and also making the players want to avoid the conditioning penalty for not getting each rebound. We also want to teach offensive and defensive rebounding technique. With offensive rebounding technique, we are concentrating on refining our strategy when it comes to gaining a better chance to come up with the offensive rebound. The techniques are, number one, shedding the block out. This is using a swim move to get by the block out in order to get offensive rebounding space. The second technique is a wedge technique. This is jamming the block out underneath the rim and able to ret retrieve anything that goes over his head. The third technique is a circle under. This is going underneath the basket to the other side to avoid a block out and to get into open rebounding space. This is particularly an effective technique if players are smart enough to understand rebounding angles and get to the weak side where the ball tends to go slightly more often. The fourth offensive rebounding technique is called a daylight run. This is running to open space for offensive rebounds. You shouldn't see this in this drill because each player is matched up for a block out to start each rep but it happens in games quite a bit. With defensive rebounding technique, we use the three Bs. They are blast, box, and board. Blast is making contact with the offensive rebounder to stunt his momentum, usually with the form of a forearm to the chest area. We want this to be physical, we want this to be aggressive. We did not mind whatsoever if fouls were committed on trying to block out our opponent. Rarely are they called, all right, and it's our, our advantage to be extra physical uh, in this phase of the game. We actually had it as one of our team goals for our season this past season to get one foul per game for an over-aggressive blockout. I think in basketball there is a lot of dumb fouls, and then there's some fouls as a coach you're willing to live with, and I think over-aggressive blockout fouls are one that I was always willing to live with as a coach. Uh, the second B is box. Box is short for box out, and that is to make a front or reverse pivot to create a seal between the ball and the offensive rebound with your body. And board is the last B. Uh, it stands for boarding, as in pursuing the rebound from the position of your box out. And once we get the rebound, we always want our players to chin, pivot, and outlet the ball to finish each rep. If you're enjoying this content, give this video a like and make sure to hit the bell to get notifications on future videos. I have lots of interesting videos planned for the future. Uh, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave. Also, take a peek at my Selfie store. I've got a lot of detailed coaching content for basketball. I have thorough materials uh, written by me on many topics such as a 1-3-1 trap, the circle motion offense, a diamond press, how to build a youth program, the European ball screen offense, how to run a strength training program, and much, much more. Thanks for breaking down this drill with me.